Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in weight loss, mindset, and business. Learn our top tips to set you up for success so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, and feel unstoppable. He's a dad, a lecturer, a professor in entrepreneurship in Sydney, and a startup coach who helps students, entrepreneurs, launch their business and live in harmony. His motto, life is good when you future-proof your family, your business, in that order. Julian Marchand, welcome. I love it. You pronounce it right. <laughs> Thank you. I needed, I want to make sure I didn't mangle it too much. I really want to talk about this concept of future proof. So why don't we break it down and tell us a little bit about how can we future proof our life? Well, um, I'll give it a little bit of background first. Is I realized when, you know, when I was reaching 40 that um, other guys who's been focusing on work is we focus so much on work that we totally forget about our family and, and ourselves. I mean, I think we put ourselves like last and I got a few wake up call in my life, you know, physical, emotionally, um, that made me realize I need first to future proof uh, me, like to look after myself and Lisa, it's hard for guys to do that, <laughs> you know, because we have to provide for the family. I mean, that's what we tell ourselves. We have to provide for the family. But I really found, you know, my body broke down last year. My knee wasn't working anymore. I couldn't walk. So I had no choice but to look after myself. And I was riding my bike every day, but apparently it wasn't, wasn't enough to build. Um, it was great for my quads. wasn't good for my hamstrings. And I'm like, okay, that's it. How do I look after myself? Um, and that took uh, quite a bit of, um, of meditation, of self-reflection. And I started to realize, hang on, I need that meditation more frequently. So I started doing it on uh, every morning because before the kids wake up, it's the only time I can actually do it. <laughs> and if I don't do it in the morning, it doesn't happen. Um, and then I went to see a, a caro for, for my knee and he said, you know, you need to do some sport. I'm like, well, bike is not working. And my wife said, what about swimming? I'm like, oh, I hate swimming in a pool. She goes, we live on the ocean. Just go <laughs> in the ocean. I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's not for me. But you know, the secret in life is sometimes is to, to do listen to your wife. <laughs> so, and I allowed myself, I think that was, a, that was the best part, allow myself um, to, to give my time, the time after the meditation to start swimming. And I started swimming, you know, 500 meters in the water that was enough and now I swim uh, two and a half kilometers every every single morning I come back on the beach I do my knee exercises I do my meditation it takes me an hour all in all I wake up at uh, 6 a.m and at 7 a.m I'm back having breakfast with the kids but that hours of food proofing me oh it's fantastic <laughs> something had to happen to you physically for you to take yeah. yourself seriously and oftentimes sadly that's a case for all of us. It's like you're something has to happen to yourself or somebody that you know, and then yeah. you're like, yeah, you only have this one body. And and the mindset piece for me of starting my morning with meditation is so grounding in such a crazy world that we live in. It's giving me ADHD, just you know, all of this, you know, accessibility with Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, email. I I make a vow to myself to to meditate before I get out of bed and start scrolling around. And, and it does um, something for, uh, for your business is because in that time of meditation, after that, your brain is really to think. And then if you start uh, going on a workout, going for a walk or going swimming, I mean, all my best ideas come while I'm swimming. I mean, you know that moment where you have great ideas in the shower, where you imagine like swimming for half an hour. <laughs> it's so wonderful that you have the ocean right there. And then how uh, do you also then you're future-proofing yourself, but then how do you future-proof your business too? So before you can future-proof your, your business, you, you have to future-proof your family because that's a problem with, especially with dads, is we see ourselves as, um, as providers. So we've been focusing so much on, on, on our job that we spend 100% of our time on our job, but 
And we want to, to be modern dads. We want to be able to look after our kids as well. But if we focus 100% on the job, then there's no, th- no time left for the family. So it's really, and, and we feel guilty. With this 45% of dads who wants to be modern dads and are not because they, they don't know how to spend their time. And we're frustrated, right? And I'm, and I'm one of them. So foodie proofing your family um, start with, well, with my wife and I deciding to, to live on the beach, uh, which is, as you can imagine, in Sydney, a little bit more expensive than living uh, inland. Uh, but it's because uh, my wife loves uh, surfing. My, my, my oldest, Tayo, loves uh, climbing on the rocks. And, and my daughter, Saya, um, she's in the wheelchair. And on the beach, it's always flat, right? So she get get to work uh, on with her wheelchair to school, and she gets to exercise every morning. So it's expensive, but it's it's something that that is for everyone in the family. We have a very shitty car. <laughs> awful place to live. I just got a glimpse of your view when we just started the chat. It's like, what a feeling that must be, just though, to wake up in the morning and get that beach experience. But it's. It's funny, Lisa, because uh, we lived we lived at the beach uh, in different places before, and but we never. Or oh, my wife was enjoying it, but I wasn't enjoying it because I was focused on work. I wasn't future proofing myself. I wasn't going in the water. I wasn't, you know, I was like, yes, this is nice. I'm there, but I'm, I was not enjoying it. And so, future proofing your family means you know you're taking care of, of them, and then when you come home, you're present with them. You spend time with them. Um, you're able to answer the questions of your kids when they. <laughs> <laughs> without without looking at that at the same time for instance <laughs> that's, that's restraint i admire that and um then then it's so much easier to to future proof your business um because you've taken care of yourself you've taken care of 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 your family like every everyone is happy and the, and if you're happy and your your family is happy business becomes so easy like because you're not alone now in running your own business, you know, like, you, you know, the ups and downs, Lisa, of running your own business, you know? That's what inspired this podcast in the first place. It was like, <laughs> I want to inspire people to be unstoppable no matter what, when you're going through hell to keep going through the ups and downs. So imagine, you know, when I think it was last week, um, I was launching my, uh, my one-on-one coaching offer for, 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 for dads, right? And I was involving my, my, my kids in there. Um, so we built together, we drew with my kids um, a thermometer with all the targets, you know, of how many, uh, I, want, I want to have, uh, I only have room for five uh, coaches at the moment, five clients. So we, we draw the number one and I told them, you know, first uh, I need to book discovery calls so I can have a conversation with a potential dad. And so now every time I have a discovery call, uh, I tell them and we write it down on, on the thermometer and they, everyone is cheering, like everyone is happy for me. Yeah, they're involved and they care about the, the outcome. Exactly. And you know what happened? My son drew his own uh, thermometer <laughs> because he saw me doing it. He's like, hey, I want to do it too because he's a, he's a basker. So um, he's, got, uh, he's got a target that he, want, he wants to achieve. He wanted to, uh, to buy a, a, pian- a new piano, for instance. So it's, it's so funny that you're building your business and then you're also sharing that with your family. And, um, and then the other day uh, I signed up for my first client and I told my kids, they were so happy. And then we, we started dancing salsa and then, you know, and, and I'm like, you know what, let me share that with everyone. So I took my phone and we were dancing with my kids and I filmed myself and I put that on LinkedIn and guess what? <laughs> it brought so much, so many smiles on the face of so many people. That so much right now. And, and your pleasure leading by example of how to be an entrepreneur and people, I think your children learn by what you do, not what you say. Yeah. And, and, and all that made, you know, made sure that um, everything you do is actually aligned, right? So how I look after myself, how I celebrate, how I look after my kids and my wife and how I look after my business, it becomes easier because our brain doesn't have to think so much because everything is, is aligned. You're doing, you're doing the same thing. Um, it's, it becomes so powerful and, and, and easier because starting your own business, uh, I'm on my fourth one, right? And I coach a lot of uh, entrepreneurs at work, at co-working spaces, at Accelerator. It's a lonely, it can be a lonely experience, right? Very lonely with a lot of ups and downs. 
So being able to share it with a lot of people and, and, and for you, Lisa, to bring a lot of people with energy and show everyone that it's, everyone is going through the same thing, but it's, it's a lot about the mindset, uh, as you said. Um, that is super positive. Absolutely. Mindset is everything. It's, it's, it's everything for me, too. And I, I want to know, is there anything else you want to leave our audience with? Any um, extra tips? Any extra tip? No, I think for the guys, um, it's, you know, like one of the benefits when you start looking after you, like, you know, start exercising, um, is that your body gets better. <laughs> you know, you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, hang on, <laughs> I look better now than I was when I was 35. What's the deal here? <laughs> what a nice side effect that is. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's beautiful. Um, I was, I was, I was, um, I was on a call with a dad yesterday and, um, you know, we've, we've been on zoom for so, so many hours already on the phone by the time it's 5 PM and we have our coaching session and he looks at me, I can see in his eyes on zoom, he goes, Oh my God, I had so much on today and I've got the kids crying in the background, you know, like, like a regular dad. And I said, you know what, how about we go for a walk on zoom? Uh, and then he said, give me two minutes. I'm just going to ask my wife. <laughs> and then he went out and then five minutes later we were on zoom and uh, like, so video walking. And then he showed me that he was, he was pushing the pram with his kids. <laughs> what does change someone's state when you're into that overwhelm of just being yeah. in the computer screen for too long? Oh, Nothing too much. like getting outdoors and just exactly in my state. And, and it was one of our best sessions because, you know, he was walking, he had his dogs as well, but he was pushing his pram. He was talking about his, the business that he was building. He was finally out there, like breathing. He was showing me where he was walking because he was in Sydney Harbour. So he showed me wow. the Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Opera House. Wow. And I was, I was walking on the beach. So I was showing him the beach and he was showing uh, to his baby, like, you know, the surfers on, on the, that I could see on the video. And it was... That's how we were linking everything together. And I think it was one of our best session together, even though we couldn't take notes, even though we couldn't share screen. Uh, so sometimes it's just going for a walk is, you know, just the right thing to do. The best advice ever. I love it. <laughs> Where can people find you? Um, so if they, if they can spell my name, they can find my website. <laughs> it's uh, julianmarchand.co. Um, and um, if you type uh, futureproofyou.co, you'll also find it, you'll go to the same place. Futureproofyou.co. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining Whole CEO with Lisa G. This episode is brought to you by my friends at Bossell. Looks like a beautiful dress watch, acts like a smartwatch, so you can go from your workout to a dinner, Screen your calls, track your activity, even your sleep. Share this with your friends for a chance to win a Bossell watch.